guys, this is Edna with Squire Photography and today I am going to teach you how to put a newborn into a digital backdrop the right way. This is not as easy as it seems by any means and I don't want to make it out to be easy but I've been looking at a ton of video tutorials and they just look fake and awful and you guys know that I don't bullshit you. I do things right and so my tutorials are a little bit long but they're worth it because you're going to learn how to do something correctly and in order to bump yourself up to a little bit higher end photographer and start charging a little bit more money you have to do things right. So I chose this baby because this baby is under the right light conditions and I think would work perfectly for this shoot, uh, this digital backdrop. Now. The ideal way to do this, guys, is to already know what digital backdrops you're going to use for your client and shoot them under the same lighting conditions with hopefully the same background, um, either um, furs or blankets or whatever. I didn't have that option right now. I just found these amazing digital backdrops and this is new to me. So I am starting with images that were shot in the right lighting condition, but not with the same backdrop. Now, if I would have had a blue fur here, I would just grab mask this baby super quickly and drop the baby into this and just blended it. But I don't have that option. I, or at minimally, I would have shot this on a blue blanket so that when you, it's a big deal when you have these tiny little um, reflections of the color and tone of your image and you drop them into a digital backdrop, they have to be similar. So a blue background would, would add a little bit of blue tone, especially to the bottom portions of this image. Now this is a very neutral image and um, that's probably not going to give me very many problems. So I'm going to show you how I mask a baby and how I'm going to drop them into this backdrop and how to make it more realistic than some of those images that you see out there that look super fake. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to use my quick selection tool on plus and you can make your brush as big as you want at the beginning. And I'm just going to go in and grab my baby here just like this. And we're going to go in and double check that we got everything, but just for now, grab quickly with big strokes. The more contrast there is between your background and the baby, the easier this gets. This is the reason why Hollywood uses green screens because there's a tremendous amount of contrast and you can just click and mask it very quickly. All right, so I'm going to go through and add and remove from this area. So I'm pressing now Alt. Alt turns this into a negative and we are now removing from here. And then we're going to add again and I don't have to press shift here because it's already on the plus. Normally I would press shift and we can add. There we go. I don't care about that, but I do want this. And I'm also going to take some, well, I'll show you that in a little bit. I'm going to press Alt and remove from here. All right, that looks pretty good to me. Nice. Now we're going to go to, and I'm on uh, CS6, I believe. So we're going to go to Select refine edge and you guys are going to see that I use this all the time. I'm going to zoom in so you can see the differences here. I'm going to click on smart radius and we're going to start zooming that in and you can see right away, look at that, how much it's coming in. And I think that's good. Plus you can shift your edge. You see how I'm getting more edge here or I'm getting less edge going down. So I like to shift my edge going down because it will remove some of that contaminated little edge. So if I go up here, you're going to see that I start getting more of the edge. But if I shift down, we're removing some of those edges. So I hate those little edges that come up when you're trying to bring a subject into another background. Okay, that looks pretty good to me. 
I'm going to smooth that out just a bit. There we go, a little bit more. And um, we are going to feather it about 1.5. It's a pretty crisp image, so you don't need a lot of feathering. If it was softer in some areas, we'd definitely feather a little bit more. And I am also going to go in here with the brush tool and I'm going to bring in the little baby's hair, just a tad. And we can always go in and clean this up later. And I'm going to bring in that shadow that's here so we have an idea of where the shadows are going to go. Not that much. See, you can see that little bit of shadow there. That's going to help you. Also around these edges. Not too much. Like right here. Definitely I would do a little there. Because that's going to help you merge the two, the background with your shadow. Same thing here. Good. And again, we can go in and tweak this as we're going. All right, that looks pretty good. So I'm going to go here to output and I'm going to output it with new layer with layer mask and press OK. And there we go. We've removed the background and we're going to drop it into this digital background. That's going to look really good here. And we're dropping it in. And from here, I'm going to press Control T and we're going to drop that baby in. Obviously, the baby was taking up a lot more space in that photograph and this is for a much smaller baby so we'll just kind of start playing with it and see how you like it there we go I think that looks pretty good yeah I think that looks pretty good now I'm going to teach you the nuances well this is where the nuances come in First things first, we're working on this layer mask for the background copy with the baby. This is, and you should get into the habit of renaming your, your layers. So this is the baby. So you can tell them apart because you will have a few layers here. So we're going to be working on the layer. Always remember to click on that layer. Double check that you're working on it. Otherwise, you're going to get frustrated. Trust me, I do this all the time. It's very frustrating to me. And I'm going to be working with black because we have this little line here that came in with the selection. So we want that out. And now we're going to go through and refine these edges a little bit more. So because I brought in those edges. We don't have very much contamination here. And when you do this, you always want to remember if you have this on the softest edge, watch what happens. It's too soft. It looks fake. One of the biggest problems that a lot of people, a lot of photographers do is they don't harden their edges when they're cleaning up their edges. See how that looks like it's just right. Like it was shot there and it looks just right. You can always press Control Z, guys. That edge looks pretty damn good. But doing this is really what makes a huge difference. Here we lost a little bit of the baby's booty, so we're bringing it back. Sorry, guys. Sometimes I whisper here. Any place where we've lost some detail, we can bring back. And all you do is press X to go from one to the other. But we're not going to really worry about this because we're going to bring in fur into this area. X. Looks really good. X. 
x. Go really small here. There we go. That's a shadow, I think, from this. Okay, that looks pretty good. Awesome. That looks pretty good. That looks pretty good for where we're at right now. All right, guys. So next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start bringing in some fur because this is where I think a lot of people go wrong. Okay, I'm done. Well, that baby looks like it was just dropped on top of there. There's texture in this background and there's no way in hell that this baby wouldn't have some fur coming up if it was really there and you were really shooting it. So we're going to have some of that fur come up into the baby. So Go to your background, make two copies, or you can just press Control J, and that'll also copy your background. Thank you to one of my subscribers for pointing that out. We're gonna bring those two copies above the baby layer. This is gonna this the layer right above the baby is gonna be called fur, and this background layer we are going to delete at some point. We're just using it as reference. So this fur layer, we're going to add a layer mask to it. Right down here, this little thing that looks like a little camera, you're going to click on that. Now, right now, if we look at, if we click off of the eyeball from the top layer, you're going to see that there is no baby here. So what we want to do is we want to eliminate this layer and only bring in what we want. So we're going to fill this layer with black. Right now it's white. We're going to fill it with black. So there's the baby. So now all we're doing is we're going to bring in some fur. But in order to make this look realistic, all right, we're going to bring it in with white. In order to make this look realistic, you can't just go like this because look at how all the fibers are going different areas. So we're going to use this background copy and we are going to lower the opacity on it just a tad so you can barely see the baby. You see that? I'm at like 86%. I can barely see the baby there, but I do see that there is fur here, and this is the fur that would be coming up if the baby were there. So we are going to work on this right here, and we're going to start bringing in the fur. Now we're doing that with white because our mask is black, and we're doing that with a pretty hard brush. Not super hard, but pretty hard, but play with it and see what looks best. All right, so here, this little puff would definitely be up here. Right here. It's the little pieces of fur that are the most important. You see how I'm going through and I'm finding little hairs that would be up there. This little hair isn't anywhere near that, so. That would definitely be there. And I'm looking for those highlights. And this is what we're going through and doing. So let's check it. You're going to unclick the eyeball on the top background copy. And this is, I'm going to name this delete later. So you know that we're deleting this layer. And this is not an important layer right now. So we're going to take the eyeball off of the delete layer and we're checking out how that's looking. So check this out. This is how we're looking so far. That looks pretty good so far, but we're gonna be doing more of that. So here we go. Oops, sorry guys, that's my fault. We're working on the layer mask. Especially these fibers are a little farther away. That wouldn't be squished if the baby was really there. That's kind of what you want to work on. So not maybe right on the baby, although those are important too, but the baby could have been smashing some of those little fibers, but definitely like this big one right here, the baby would not be smashing that because it's nowhere near. So here we go. And you can always remove them if you didn't like them after all, you know?
All right, let's check it again. Pretty good so far. And I might go with a little bit softer brush. Let's see how that looks. Again, experiment, guys. Experiment. See how you like it. Because when you're real, when you're using a very small brush, it's going to be harder. It's going to come out a little bit harder. So use whatever you think is best for this scenario. Here we go. There we go. So let's double check it again. Now, doesn't that look much more realistic? It definitely looks much more realistic to me. And this is just the beginning. Unfortunately, we still have a little bit more to go here. So you want to bring them in where you feel like you're you're needing to. If the edges look too harsh or too hard, then we go softer. And then we can even refine them a little bit more here. See? I'm just softening up these little edges. So I don't want any real hard lines, guys. There's just no hard lines here. So we're softening up these edges right here. And if you see this shadow right here, eliminate it because that's kind of, that's a give, a tell that we're not, um, that wouldn't be realistic. So I want this little toad to show, so I'm gonna I'm gonna eliminate some of these right here. Cause I like that little baby toe. I think that's super cute. I'll bring in a little bit, but not not a lot. So again, we're just eliminating those hard shadows, hard edges. There we go. What do you guys think? I think that looks fantastic. I think it looks much more realistic than that. Don't you think? Now we're going to add in a little bit of that shadow. We brought in a little bit of the shadow with the booty originally. And the, the shadow was right around here. So we're going to bring that same shadow in. Let me clean up this booty just a little bit. We're going to the layer mask on the baby. There we go. And we're going to bring in that shadow. Now I'm going to show you how to do that because that's another mask. Your shadows are going to be another mask. So we are going to bring in another background. Just control J. And now we have the original background here. And then we're going to bring in this background right above the original background. And we're going to call this one shadows. So, so you can always remove it if you don't like it but that's your shadows background. And we are going to use the lasso tool and the, I'm going to go with dark shadows right around the baby, like right here. Oops, sorry. I have this on a lot of pixels. We'll remove that right near, right near the baby. We're going to go with our first shadow layer. So I'm going to shift F six, this to about, I don't know, let's say 20. And now we're just going to go to control M or you can also use a layer mask. So you can also go here to curves and do this as a mask. You see that right there, I think is pretty good. It should be pretty dark. All right, close it off. And now we're going to make another, we're going to still on the shadows layer and we're going to add another little bit farther away shadow because light works that way, right? It disperses and gets lighter. So we're going to add one there and we're going to do the same thing. 
I'm going to a curve. Oh, let's, sorry. Let's shift F6. And I'm going to make this one about 50. Nope, that's too much. Shift F6. Let's make this 30. And again, curves. And we're going to darken that up. And you see how it's starting to look much more realistic and we're layering on some nice shadows. Let's pull out so you can see the difference. That looks super realistic. We have dark shadows in the middle and light shadows that are kind of dispersing out. We still have maintained some of the shadows here. We can even go in here and start and make another little shadow here. So let's go back to this layer and we're going to grab this right here this area. We're going to go shift F6. Let's do this at a 10 and we're going to make another curves and we're going to darken that area here. Oh, here we go. Now we're going to start seeing some issues here. All right. So this is from the previous fur layer. So we have to go into this fur layer and we have to copy this curves layer and we're going to bring it up here to the fur layer. There we go. And we're going to we're going to have those two together. Another way that you can do this too is just literally go into this fur layer and darken it. That's probably a little bit easier. So if you just darken it up a little bit. But that would be a permanent. All right. So I'm going to bring in some little hairs here because I feel also like it's not realistic. Nah. Let's go with a flow of like 17%. There we go. You see that? just a little bit of fur starting to come out here. That looks much better. There we go. That looks super realistic too. Awesome. So that about wraps it up. I think that looks pretty good. At this point, I would definitely save it. And I'm going to save this as the moon tutorial. And once I save it, I can tweak anything else that I want to do. So now I think it looks pretty good. I would go in and maybe darken the booty of the baby just a little bit so there's more shadow on this side. Just a little bit right there. I think that looks pretty good. Maybe go in and add some more darkness to the curved layer. Let's see. There we go. Let's do this one again, just to tweak it a little bit. There we go. I think that looks pretty good. Now I'll save it again and I'm going to flatten it out now. Now this is where I'd go in and kind of tweak it a little bit. Like I really don't like that the hat is so thick. So I'll go through here. I will show image or show mask or show backdrop just so you can see it. So the, this is where I'd go in and just start making little changes like smoothing everything out. If something just doesn't look right. Um, I think that's actually pretty perfect. All right. And that is a perfect image to me and we are done. So I am going to show you the before and after on this. Here is the after and the before. We go into history and check that out. And now I can go in and actually save this as a JPEG and we're done. Now a couple of things that I did want you guys to know is that it's best again to shoot 
in the same material like here we have a whole bunch of different um you know backgrounds with different material below them and if you ch shoot the baby under the same lighting conditions with the same background you can very easily just go in plop the baby in and just sort of start removing some of the material and allow that original material that was on there to become that to come out on the baby now i'm going to show you guys some other samples that i've done here so you can see oh let's get out of that here are some samples so here is one that i just did and I think it's pretty good, but it's not perfect. I think the baby in this scenario would be tucked in a little bit more. But here you can see that I did the same thing with the little fibers of the background. And I brought in a flower from here and I made it small. And I made this little elastic band using a texture that I overlaid on top of a color um, band that I made using the pen tool and I, if you guys want to know how to do that let me know I'm happy to do a little mini tutorial on that here is a baby that's hanging from a little cute wreath and again I brought in that background above it so it looks a little bit more natural this baby was just a, a baby shot on a white background and same thing here I did um, I brought in an a little flower from a little leaf around here and I made a little flower and I made this little wreath using this section right here where I copy or maybe this one I copy and pasted it and then I warped this down a little bit and I added highlights and shadows as you can tell here I made a highlight here and I've shadowed in this area more than this area and here is another one this baby I shot on a white background with a little white bow, so it was much easier to do. Plus, here's the sample of this background goes blurry, and this baby I happen to have shot at a very shallow depth of field, so the baby's bottom and all this is blurry, so it matched perfectly. Now, if I put a baby in here that had a, a clear um, and long depth of field, then I would physically have to go in and do a Gaussian blur here. And I think that about does it, guys. Oh, here's one more sample. And it's pretty much exactly the same baby from the other shoot. Now on this one, I didn't go in and bring those fibers in. This was the first one that I did, but again, I did make that little headband. I did darken it and lighten it so it looks, you know, kind of natural. But here, I would definitely go in and bring a little bit of the fibers in just so it doesn't look like it was plopped in there. I did go in and add some shadows here, but this one is not, I think, as impressive as the other ones. All right, guys, that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much. Let me know if you guys want me to make uh, do a little tutorial on how I did these little bands because I thought it was kind of clever. But comment and let me know. Thanks a lot for watching. Again, please like and subscribe and comment. For some reason, the more you comment, the more people are able to see these YouTube videos. So I appreciate comments. Thanks a lot, guys, and have a great day.